hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to create this animating scrolling counter that you see right here and i'm also going to include it in the web projects we built some time ago to show you guys how to use it exactly in your web design please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i post a new video so i'm going to create a new page in this web design file i'm also going to throw in a desktop frame I'm then going to paste the icons in which we're going to be using for the counter. Um, increase the size and paste in the text for the first statistics counter. So this first statistic is going to be um, completed projects. I'm going to paste in the text for the second, which is customer satisfaction. Um, I'm going to do the same thing for the third statistics. Um, and I'm just going to change the text to raised by clients, which is supposed to signify funds raised by clients. I'm going to do the same for the last statistics, which is going to be um, years in business. So after having all the icons and the text, I'm then going to select everything and quickly change um, the font style. So after this, the next thing I want to do is to make sure that the text and the icons are properly aligned and to do that i'm going to select the text and select the icon and hit shift a to create an auto layout between them i'm also going to give it a specific um spacing value then repeat the exact same step for the second the third and also the last um statistic um details and information you are trying to show so guys basically what we want to do is to have a value that says 100 plus projects completed but then i want to separate the 100 from the plus sign so that i can create an animation on the 100 itself now what we are basically animating through is this value right here we can have 100 200 up to the highest value in which we want to finally get through at the end of the animation which is this 1500 so i'm going to be using it as the main container um so I'm, I'm going to be using the larger text and i'm going to frame that selection so it's going to put the text in a frame um i'm just going to quickly rename that frame and what we're trying to do is to have an list of values in the text field so i'm just going to create a list of values that i want to animate through um i'm just going to use an increment of 200 up to 1400 after doing this basically we want to hide all other text and just leave a single one so i'm going to clip contents on the frame um which basically hides every other content that overflows I'm also going to select the plus sign and the 100 sign and hit shift a to create an auto layout i'm going to give that auto layout spacing um a specific value um i just give it zero yours could be five depending on what you want um and i notice there's a little space from the between the 100 and the plus sign so i'm just going to um add a space bar just in front of this text here so that it won't look the space between the 100 and the plus sign won't be too much so I'm going to clip the frame, the clip the contents of the frame back. So I think this is okay um, for this very first um, statistic right here. Uh, I'm going to select the icons and the text and also the animating value. And I'm going to hit shift here. The next you're going to be working with is the next um, statistic right here, which is the customer satisfaction. This is not going to be using um, a plus sign. I want to use a percentage sign. So I'm going to change the plus sign to a percentage sign. Select both the value and the sign and hit shift A to create an auto layout. Then specify a specific spacing between the elements. But I don't want to iterate. I, I want to iterate through 20 um, to 100. So I'm just going to go with an increment of 20, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. And I think this is good. I'm also going to put in that spacing in front just to reduce the extra space between the 20 and the percentage sign and i'm going to clip content on the frame back so this is good for the second um statistic i'm just going to select both elements and hit shift a so this is basically what we're going to be repeating through um the third and the fourth um statistic
for this um raised by clients this is going to be uh, a money value which is um, i want to use something like 50 million dollars um so i'm going to have the dollar sign in front and the m value at the back so i'm going to be using two of this so um just like the way we did for the previous two sections we are going to do exactly the same thing we are just going to separate the elements um then i trade through, through a value of 50 and use auto layout to arrange both elements back to where they belong and of course you guys can skip to the part of the video where we already start creating the interactions um, and the scroll animations for the counter So guys, now that I'm done creating this um, counter section right here, I'm just going to select every single one of these and make sure they are center aligned. Um, I'm going to click on every single section and make sure they are center aligned. Then I'm going to select all the sections at the same time and give them a specific padding of 40 on all four sides. Um, the next thing i want to do i want to create a divider in between this section so i'm going to select the first one head over to strokes and click on the individual strokes section i'm going to click on the right stroke i'm going to select the next two elements and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to give them a right stroke i'm going to drop the the solid black a little bit to like a lighter shade of gray and after that i think we are done creating the designs for our scrolling counter so guys to start creating the interaction on this counter element right here i'm first going to center it in the middle and i'm going to increase the width of the frame to the width of the desktop um frame i'm using because i want this interaction to be displayed on a desktop frame so i'm going to be using this desktop width and i'm going to go ahead to make this a component so after that i'm going to create another variant of this component and basically what we are trying to do here is to put the counter which is an example is this hundred right here is to put the counter on the final value then we are then going to use smart animates to run through from the first to the last value so as you can see the height of this section is like 60 judging by the line height here um and if you're trying to iterate through if we use minus 60 you can see we go to the second minus 120 takes us to the third 
um minus 180 takes us to the fourth which is 600 and just like that until we get to the final value that we are trying to um show so i think the last one is minus 360 which is going to show us the 1400 value and that is it for changing the y-axis um i'm going to do the same thing for the second one we're just going to change the y-axis to show um the final value we are trying to get to so i'm just going to do this this takes us to the last one directly and you can do the same thing um you can also basically just hold click and hold the text field and push it up the frame um the only risk of this is the risk of the text field going left and right of the frame which is still okay if you can properly position it on the last um value you're trying to show but i'm doing this because it's easier for me if you know the specific height of every single selection you can just multiply it to get to the final value easily um which is basically what i am doing right here so after that i'm just going to change the y axis for this last one right here and i'm just going to get to the final value so we have these two variants in our components i'm just going to move the components out of the desktop frame we have these two variants um what basically we're trying to do is to create an interaction from the first one to the second one um using a smart animate so i'm going to click on the first section i'm going to switch to the prototype um, panel and i'm going to connect the wires down to the second variant i'm also going to make it a mouse enter animation i'm going to switch it to smart animate um, i'm going to make it easy out and back and i'm going to change the animation timer to 2000 millisecond and i am using a mouse enter because every animation needs a trigger so i'm going to create an instance of our components and i'm going to just place it in the desktop frame that we created um just to create a distinction between the desktop section and the component i'm just going to give the variant a few so i'm going to give it a light gray few and i think we are good we can check out the prototype um so that we can preview our animation now once the mouse cursor enters this section we have a scrolling animating counter right here so guys this is how you create a scrolling counter for your web landing page please don't forget to like comment turn on the notification bell and hit the subscribe button so that you get more videos like this so guys to use this in our web landing page that we created some time ago i'm just going to create a little more section in the frame here and i'm going to select every other sections and i'm going to move them down because i just want to put the counter section just below the services or what we do section um so i'm going to duplicate that instance i'm going to hold down alt and i'm going to drag it to that little space that is below the white choosers section um after i've done that once it's perfectly fit i'm also going to head over to the component itself um, and i'm going to change the font color of the counter that we are going to be animating so i'm just going to select all the counters and the variants um and i'm going to change its color to this um green color that we use for our landing page theme right here so i'm going to play the prototype and once we start scrolling you will notice that our counter starts counting as soon as the mouse enters the section and this is how you create a scrolling counter in your web projects um, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and you actually learned something in this video. Um, I'll see you in my next video.